the local communities in the Arctic region are widespread over distant locations. Children of these communities need to travel long distances to get access to the good basic education that they need. Due to the digital area where we live in, new opportunities arise to help these communities. Instead of going from home to school, we want to reverse this and bring the school to their homes. With the aid of virtual reality, we want to emerge the children of these communities into a classroom without letting them travel miles and miles every single day. For this solution, it is encouraged to use room-scaled virtual reality setups for every participant like, for example, the HTC Vive. However, within an educational environment where budget is key, it is possible to reduce the costs by using a three degrees of freedom virtual reality head display with a pointing device for every instructor and or teacher, like the Oculus Go we used in our test case. And because many students nowadays have a smartphone, it is sufficient to provide them with a VR head mount, for example, a Google Cardboard or, as in our test case, the VR box. To come virtually together, each device needs to be connected to the Internet. So practically, we tested this setup in a primary school by providing a VR head mount for every child, making sure everyone gets connected to the wireless internet and visiting the URL to our virtual classroom. After they select their name, they will join the online session and need to change to the VR mode. Now they can place the smartphone into the VR head mount and enter this educational realm. This process of placing the smartphone into the VR head mount needs to be a plug and play solution so that students are able to perform this without any help. Each student is represented by an avatar and their movements are tracked and mapped on their avatar. To communicate with the teacher, each student has a panel with four icons. The turtle indicates that the explanation should go slower, the rabbit, on the other hand, that it can go faster. The confused smiley informs the teacher that something is unclear. The most basic is to raise your hand. Whilst in class, the microphone is automatically muted and will be enabled when allowed to speak. Although the raising of hands is visible in the classroom, it is harder to find out who is who. Therefore, the teacher has a panel with all names of the students and the status of their hands. This panel also shows who is connected and what kind of feedback they are giving. For example, go faster, go slower, or I don't understand. Furthermore, it is also used to call all students to the current location of the teacher and to allow a student to speak. This is the main reason why the teacher needs a VR pointing device. The virtual environments that have been prepared by the teacher can be chosen in the bottom panel. In our test case, we prepared the solar system as it is impossible to go out in space with the entire class. In these learning environments, students are all placed on one spot, so they don't block each other's view and are not distracted by their peers. Visually, every student has the impression the teacher looks at them directly. Additional to enabling the microphone to speak, 
A student will also be pulled out of the group so other students can see the speaker. Finally, the teacher can walk around by teleporting with the pointing device. This is visualized with the green teleport arc and green circle for the landing place. Once in the proper spot, he or she can call the students again to his location and show or talk about a specific viewpoint or object nearby. In our test case, we use this to ask students to recognize the planets and to witness the extreme size difference between Earth, other planets and the Sun.